the detestable god of the people of the Ammon. Now, once again, this is the followers of Solomon or the Freemasons crafting geomantic devices or seals to bind spirits into structures. So as we start to look at this device, this instrument of the Illuminati, you'll see that it's incorporated with different chakra points, but it is actually the seal of Solomon to bind spirits in a life-size form. And you'll see that even the sign states that there are vast numbers of bodies interred under there. So they have actually crafted this seal of Solomon on top of an ancient American burial ground. Imagine that, necromancy coupled with geomancy. What do you think these guys are up to, these sorcerers of Atlantis? Well, let's have a closer look at this thing. Now, wait a minute. No, that guy called me up in, in, in Tennessee, right? Yeah, it's in Tennessee. Okay, yeah, okay. He called me up about two years ago, or, or one of his representatives. Mm -hmm to design something like that, you know, something for a, a, new, uh, a, a, a new world view and this kind of stuff. And, and so when I was hearing him talking over the phone, I, I, I got a wiggy feeling that I shouldn't have anything to do with this character. So, so I, I started funning him, and, and that, that set him off to a point where the phone slammed down, you know? So the, the, the obviously had no sense of humor, and and I, I cannot deal with people that, that don't have a sense of humor because you can never you can never resolve any differences with them. Right. So I think that the guy was the guy was trying to hold on to uh, ideological control of this because he had a concept of the new world view, which was probably different than mine. And uh, he was trying to find somebody that, that would acquiesce to it with, uh, with awe. You know, that, 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 that kind of crap. So, <laughs> this device was intended to be a Kabbalistic form of geomancy. I had no idea that Paul Offaly had been asked to be an architect. And I started noticing there were some stranger things going on in this Bicentennial Mall. This thing, William Henry, gave me a, a little tour, and he called this part the Stargate. And certainly it was disconcerting to see this black earth with its sun radiating deep down inside of it as it floated there on water. And then on these megalithic stones around it are scenes of war and death and destruction even a nuclear explosion. But taken from certain angles, I, I could start to think that it was some sort of stargate or definitely some sort of device. But imagine my surprise when I happened to realize that those trees sitting behind it were none other than Hollywood. Once again, a symbol of death, death and resurrection to this brotherhood. So now you know why Hollywood is revered at Christmas time. Well, if you understand ball worship and its connection to Christmas. But I thought perhaps if this thing really was a Stargate, maybe, maybe, if I just got it going fast enough, I might be able to transport myself to another star system, just like in the movies. But that thing was heavy. <laughs> I wasn't going to get it rotating very fast at all. But would it work anyway? The sounds of the bells attracted my attention, and so I went to the crown of this seal of Solomon, where I found 50 columns surrounding what would be the top of the keyhole. Now, each of these columns were 25 foot tall, and up at the top of which they had bells in the capitals. And in the center 
I found that there was pentagrams and that this area was crafted of three different types of granite, a red granite, a blue granite, and a white granite. And each of these granites had different frequencies of quartz crystals inside of them. Recognize that your computer runs off of quartz crystals. That's what determines your megahertz. But in the center of these pentagrams, which just happens to be the seal of Tennessee, there is an iron post placed right down in the middle. And I found that this was for a phenomenal effect. I'm standing here at the crown chakra of the pillar of Meru, and I am uh, experiencing the acoustic effects that are caused by these 50 columns that were set up so perfectly that my voice is reverberating, but only on this very spot where this iron rod is put down in the middle of this sanctuary. Astounding. Now imagine what would happen if you put the right tone right here and it all came back. Because no matter where I speak, it comes back to me. And it seems to come from behind me, whichever direction I'm pointing. So let's try pointing the camera this way and speaking that way. How interesting is this? Now watch as I step off the iron post and we no longer get any reverberation. Not a single echo until I step back on to that post. From here, we don't get an echo. But as soon as I step right here, everything I say comes back at me. How amazing is that? Tell me this thing isn't an instrument, a device used by the Atlanteans. All right, bring me back. Now, what you must recognize is that there's more going on on planet Earth than you know. They have been lying to you, they've been hiding it, and it is these godmen, this interbreeding genetic bloodline that rules our planet, that seem to have connections to the ancient civilizations. They have knowledge that's been encoded in the buildings, and they are using magical geomantic devices to intone p particular frequencies on planet Earth. So until next week, when we get into galactic history with Stuart Swerdlow, you have a good night.